a gourd that you can use to make both entrees and desserts say hi to the bottle gourd So in part 4 of this 5 part series of growing gourds, today we will be looking at bottle gourds. Now bottle gourds have very beautiful flowers as you can see right here and they start blooming in early summer. So just like all the other gourds, you need to plant bottle gourds probably in late spring through early summer for best growth. So the bottle gourd is a nice full bodied voluminous gourd that you can grow and that's what makes it so productive. The bottle gourd is known by different names all around the world and there are some really interesting names for bottle gourds as you can see here. A bottle gourd just like any other gourd needs to be harvested before it grows too big and what you're seeing here is pretty much the perfect size when a bottle gourd should be harvested and that looks like a pretty nice harvest so if you look at the fruit itself the gourd is pretty long it can even extend longer than what you see here but the average fruit size is what you see on your screen right here it's about I would say about a foot long and pretty thick and the bottle gourd just like the snake gourd was free of any insects or diseases I did not see any insect damage on these bottle gourds now what I did notice in my gourds area was that there were a lot of ants running all around the gourds I'm not sure why but the ants do not cause any damage to the gourds, the leaves or the fruits. As you can see here we have really healthy leaves and the fruit is very good looking, not damaged at all. And you might spot a few ants here and there. But overall I was very happy growing the bottle gourds, didn't have to bother about any diseases, any insects. And just like the other gourds, they do have powdery mildew when they are a little young but using the milk treatment as mentioned earlier resolves their problem completely. So there were a lot of bottle goats that I harvested from the goats area and it was really productive only second to the sponge goat which we will be looking at in the next episode and also almost on par with the snake goats that we saw in the previous episode. The bottle gourd has a nice smooth skin free of any kinds of textures. It's very smooth and silky and the fruit itself is pretty nice and soft. Just make sure you don't wait too long to harvest. This looks like a perfect bottle gourd. So I wanted to show you how the bottle gourd looks like uh, from the inside. So this is a bottle gourd that we harvested and I will show you a couple more right here that we harvested they are pretty much the same medium sized bottle gourds so let's go ahead and cut open this bottle gourd to see how it looks like and as I mentioned you can not only cook entrees using this bottle gourd for cooking bottle gourds as an entree you can cook it with lentils, spices, turmeric, chili powder and a little bit of salt and they taste really good. You can even add shredded coconut in it and you can also make some really good desserts using the bottle gourd. You can search the web for some interesting recipes. So coming up in the next episode is growing sponge gourds.